right guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. What you see behind us, we showed you guys the wide body Lexus this is our next project. They already started unwrapping. It's super hot, so we wanna hurry up and get this done. like a VIP style car, it's pretty cool. When it's all put together, it looked really nice. Uh, the wrap was, I mean, it wasn't bad, but there's just a little bit of issues that like, um, they cut a little bit too deep in some areas, but it is what it is, you know? Um, that's what we're gonna do to avoid it here is we use a lot of knifeless tape. Uh, we're very experienced with using the blades and stuff, so that shouldn't be an issue with us at all. And today, the goal is to do the hood and um, try to knock out maybe both sides of the car so that we can make pretty good progress. This is gonna be a pretty big project because it has the wide body flares. Um, so I mean, with a normal car, you guys should just, you know, do a fender, quarter panel, it's basically done, right? But with this one, you have to do, you know, fend uh, fender flare, fender flare, like total four fender flares. So it's just more time consuming to do that stuff. And side skirts. And side skirts. And then on top of that, you know, we have our bumper, uh, rear lip, our front bumper, rear lip, I believe, right? Lots of lips. Just a lot of stuff, so it's it's gonna be a pretty big project, so we have to get started on it. That's crazy. You did it in one session, didn't you? Yeah, it was less than four hours. I was, I was, no I was way. Less than four? Yeah, less than four hours. It hurt a lot though, but. It looks like it hurt like a bitch. That shit hurted. Hurt. Hurt. That's tight. Though. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. I was a little worried at first. I saw that it was like really short, and I didn't <laughs> think you. Was well, either way, it gets covered by the uh, the fender flare right here. It's gonna get covered, but I'm only doing this little edge right here because that's where you'll maybe see just a little bit on this side, but everything else is okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so we could stretch it. Normally, like, can heat it up a little bit. Normally, we wouldn't do this on like you know a car that. That's where good. you're actually just trying to do the fender. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that he burned it. <laughs> Oh, that's what burning it looks like. There you go. Big asshole. But it's okay because right here, you're not going to see any of this. Because yeah. it's cut up in there and stuff. So it, it's pretty much, it's fine. It was going to get cut there either way. So no big deal. With the cap sheet on, it can't take as much heat. Ah, uh, so it just splits basically right away. Yeah, it just burns fast. It's like game when it can't take that much heat.
So the next piece we're gonna wrap is this trunk. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap this trunk. It's actually really easy. Some people, they just start on the top and then they work down. And the problem with that is that you're gonna have a lot of excess material running this way. And like a lot of tension, right? A lot of tension, yeah. So I've seen like on some like YouTube like videos where people wrap trunks, they start at the top and then by the time that they're working down here, they're heating it up and they're pulling and things can get discolored and you know, it's, it's just not good. It's gonna lift. So the, the idea with this one is you wanna attack it this way so that you don't have any excess material here and everything's just pretty much glassing itself out. So if we pull really hard along this body line and um, we should have no excess up here on the top, we should have no excess on the bottom because all the lines are running this way, if that makes sense. So we'll show you guys how to do this so that you guys, if you guys do ever plan on wrapping your trunk at home, really easy. So, cool. all right, let's get uh, Anthony. Yeah, so we're not gonna do it like this because look at all that. We're gonna have so much material. It's not gonna work. Man, man, so man. what we have to do is we have to go, see, look, get like to my same angle. Gotcha. We're gonna hit this top first. And then when we hit it, we're gonna pull this way so that we're slowly wrapping around this body line, but also making all the material wanna suck itself in there. So now we have no strong thing, like no crazy fingers running this way. We have everything relaxed. And if you guys saw that Christian helped me heat this area up right here, it's because we pulled a lot. So what we have to do is you have to shrink everything back. That way it doesn't come back and shrink on you when it's outside and you guys are driving and then the wrap's gonna look terrible. But like I said, just to reiterate, hit this body line first, attack your corners, and you should be good. this yeah, problem if you didn't get your tattoo this weekend. Whatever, dude. You're just fucking mad because you're, you're, <laughs> you're gonna get punched. You're just mad because your tattoos are lame. My better girls. I don't know. Uh, We're gonna have to put that into the vote in the comments. Anyways, no, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty badass. All right. <laughs> Talking about it, but oh god, did you miss that for what? Yeah, that's what I was saying all day yesterday. I said, yeah, I said, hey, you want to get some talking, bud? Wasn't talking, want to talk, want to talk, bud? <laughs> We're back from Vegas, new day. What's up, dude? Welcome I haven't been back. here in six days, man. Dude, hey, I like, can you guys comment on the shirt? It's actually a really good band. Nirvana's amazing, yeah, they're really good. All right, yesterday I kind of focused on just the main body, the doors, the hood, trunk, fenders, and I finished up that other quarter panel. I'm gonna start this one. And uh, the goal for today is just to 
knock out the rear bumper, start the front, maybe um, get the front, but this is a pretty big project just because it has, like I said, it has a lot of uh, wide body um, fender flares and lips and stuff like that, so it's gonna take me a while. Right now we're doing a quick lunch in there. I wanted to give some context because we didn't really plan on filming. We we're just gonna kind of enjoy the moment, but you guys are a big part of what we do. And also, you know, Christian has been a big element of our company. So in business, there comes a time we gotta let go of some of your best people. Christian is one of them. He's been here for, I think, three years now. Literally has tapped into every part of the business and made his mark in every part of the company. So sad to see him go, but also happy to see him excel into new things. You know, he wants to start a new life in a whole different area of the world. So him and his wife are moving. I want you guys to be able to say bye to him in the comments below. Send him some love. Send him some positivity on his journey. Um, we're super happy for him. You know, at the end of the day, anybody who's worked for me has always been family. So we still see them around. And Christian's going to be no exception. I'm sure we'll see him. We'll still, be, we'll still be doing work together. So sad day, but also just exciting for him. So let's go in there and eat. Let's hang out. Let's just enjoy some time together for like the last couple minutes we have with them. Um, honestly, it's, it's been quite a ride. Uh, just coming up on three years. Um, I never thought we would all kind of be here. It's honestly, the shop we were in was a lot smaller than this, and literally now we're here and we're already feeling the same way, so it's kind of crazy. The amount of videos that have come out since I've been here has been, you know, it's nothing less than astonishing. Like the fact that we've literally put out that much shit, and you know, it's crazy. I just want to thank everybody for being a part of it. David, you have taught me an insane amount of things just on every single thing, rap related, and it's been really cool to, you know, bring the little bit of stuff I thought I knew and then just have that further understanding of it. So I can't thank you enough for that. I will say that still to this day, this is, you know, the place that has always checked all the boxes for me. I've been able to come in and be creative in one way or another, you know, no matter what day it is, no matter what time it is, I can come in and create products or pick up a camera or, you know, help wrap something. So it's really cool just to be able to have that hands on and then also problem solve and whatnot. So. That's really cool. It's definitely going to be a hard thing to match. Anthony, you are the last one. <laughs> and I know you don't like that shit. I, I love you. And don't worry. The livery is coming out. So don't worry. Come here. Oh, oh no. Oh. I love this guy. I fucking love this guy. I will never forget you, bro. We're going to game and bullshit yeah, okay. <laughs> everywhere. No matter where I am. That's the last panel for me. I am out. The guys are gonna keep working on this Lexus. It's been great having you guys. Love everyone in the comments. Y'all stay awesome. And uh, you know, don't forget to just be you, all right? Be kind to other people and don't let negativity get you down. Have a good one.
Do I want to get this? What do I want to get? This. Build the cap back? Yeah. Satisfying. Yeah, no cap. No cap? No cap. Huh. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. I pull this off. No cap. Ow, what the? You're all cap. Ah, get it? All right, cool. What day you been waiting for? What, what's the, what day is that? Hopefully your last day of wrapping this car, but you got the defenders. You've been getting the fenders. Oh, this is the wide body fenders that I'm doing. Um, we're doing a black inlay in here. I guess that's what the customer wanted. Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good though because it's gonna look more aggressive. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, then the rest of it's just gonna go the color match, uh, what is it, uh, deep space. And uh, it's gonna be a busy day because I have to finish all of this today. And it may not look like much, but it's like the prep is what's gonna take the longest just because it's primer. So we have to make sure there's no like, um, like over, like excess, like uh, residue that was on there from the previous wrap. But what you can't say is that this car looks ugly. This actually looks really good. Um, the wide body kit on the Lexus along with the color shifting wrap just goes well. The one thing about these color shift wraps is as the body transforms, as it transitions to another body panel, the color changes. So you see it flipping as it's leaving. Things are in a rush. The car needed to get out. I don't know why he had to pull it out right as I'm in it, but hey, it is what it is. Watch the color flip. Aqua as it left. <laughs> I love the color flip colors. That was a 3M 1080 film, uh, gloss flip, deep space. You've seen on the channel plenty of times we've installed this film, and you'll see that. As the years progress, certain colors pop off more than others, where people just come in and they want these colors. At one point, this is one of those ones that everybody wanted. At one point, we were installing it every other vlog. So it's been a little bit of a while. It was cool to get back to it, and I would say, or I will say this, David and Anthony absolutely killed it. 
Again, this is one of those projects where I didn't have to put my hands on it at all. As you're growing your rap shop, you can be the best rapper in the whole wide world, and some of you guys are. Some of you guys are the best rappers in your own shop. But to scale this kind of business, you have to be open to letting somebody come in and be better. Learn from you, learn from each other, get better, and ultimately see things like this leave. I love you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment. Really, drop a comment. I wanna see, I wanna test the algorithm here. If you guys drop a comment, just give us a happy face, give us a smile, call me ugly, call me cute, write in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the car and give us some suggestions of content. If you guys wanna see something specific, comment it below. We are here answering questions. We're here to talk to you guys. We're here to engage with you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Um, I knew there was something. You're not gonna let me go. Yeah, All no. right. You're gonna have a car here that you're about to wrap for free. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, I, I was pretty upset. Now I'll leave it at that. There it is.